we head up the F3 freeway, take a left at Woi Woi, and where are we? I am almost to Patonga Beach campsite. It's a long old road in. I'll flash up the map on the screen here. You can see it's a long way from anything else. We're gonna throw the drone up so you can have a look. So, super cool, bit of an outpost. How beautiful is this? Following the engine drama on the boat, I had to take it to my boat mechanic, so 10 minutes up the road. So, perfect timing, drop that off, come down, set up camp. Hopefully you can fix the misfiring issue. Fuck yeah, this place is a little slice of heaven. We've got to boil our own bloody water. <laughs> Making a video? Yes. yes. <laughs> this calm, quiet boat ramp is to my liking. Yeah, I just got a call from the mechanic up at Woi Woi, just up the road. Boat engine is fixed, 250 bucks. Let's go get it. Picked up the boat, heading back to the bay. Seen the picture of laziness. I wasn't going to use the foot pump, no. I went to the toilets and used an electric pump. <laughs> I bought mum this eggplant. How good is that? Thing for the boat. And a couple of mattresses. <laughs> Look at that. There's Anna's homemade pesto. We've just come out to the Tonga Boathouse and it is going off on a Friday night. <laughs> so pretty. Very Maryvale, Ivy Bar esque, nautical. Yeah, so a uh, six pack of Cooper's Green was $30. So we're driving to Yamina. I'm not proud about this, but I'm parking first out of the entire family. So I've come and visit us in the tent. Hello. Look at this bloody jacaranda. You come out of your tent. It's all over the boat. Pest. Scourge of Australia. Somebody's undies. As you do. Because I left work and came straight here in a hurry, I... I forgot to shower yesterday. I mean, I went for a little paddle in the water, but time to have a proper shower. Have a go on your boat today? Yeah, you can be first up. So you can see the tides coming in at the moment and you can clock the speed by looking at that pelican floating. Just checking out the boat ramp. It's very tidal here and it gets very, very low. I have to schedule when the boat goes in and when the boat comes out. Sophie, you're gonna go on the eggplant? Mum coming back from the showers, where is she? Hello! How are you? How was the shower? 94 Olympics, awesome foursome-esque. Absolutely bringing it home strong. They're out in front, cousin James and uncle Andy, he's coming up the home straight. Well, ladies and gents, as you know, we're down at Patonga and it's uh, 8 a.m. It's time to cook our own brekkie. So we've got a couple of eggs here. Catch. And when we're away on bivouac, we uh, like to carry our eggs in the egg, egg handbag and we're cooking on the uh, butane stove. Look at that. <laughs> so Auntie Lou has proposed a three kilometre walk up a steep hill. Apparently the view is pristine. Good way to start the Saturday, eh? But because of tide oh. tide, we can't get across the river. So mum's giving us a lift, isn't she? Yeah, she's a good lady. All right. A bit worried. We're not sure if this is the top of the hill. I've looked at the map. It looks like a very long walk. Reinforcements have arrived. As you know, brown snakes are coming out of their brumination period. Uh, so we've, we've stuck uh, we've stuck Cousin Anna on scalp so she can take the brunt of it. Point guard. There's a hold up. My fault. We've gone the wrong way. What? So we made it to the top of the lookout. Down over my left shoulder is Tonga Beach. Out the end, you got West Head, and then behind that, Pitwater and Baron Joey. We are headed all the way down to Pearl Beach.
remember. You'll remember this old classic. After a massive hike, downhill that is, we've made it to Pearl Beach. We'll celebrate the walk with a coffee. Navigate these rocks. Whoppa, whoppa. Okay, much to my pleasure, the boat where I left it before the walk is still there. Finally, we're off. It's a family group. Woo! We just got abused by some crazy Westie lady with a lot of tattoos. Did you know you shouldn't drive a boat in your children's inflatables? Anyway, not to worry. Off we go. Away from the people. See down there, mum's drifting off into the never never on her eggplant. One of the super cool things about coming to Patonga is how unspoiled it is. To access it, you either have to come from Oceanside by boat or drive 11 kilometers through the national park. And from traversing downtown, which is about four parallel streets in a row. Oh, hello, good. Hello. I swear there's a cap on construction here because there is no big cement rendered houses. They're all very similar and they're all really well presented. Unspoilt completely. There's very few shops, one pub, no petrol station. Now, I don't know the cost of renting a holiday villa, Airbnb here, but I can tell you at the caravan park, it cost us about $25 per person a night for a tent site right on the water, which is really unheard of in Sydney. And this is less than an hour's drive from there. Okay, that one's a little bit outlandish. Uncle Nick, you're on YouTube! Right? You're kidding, I'm here in <laughs> Patonga! The place to be! I go for a little hour long kip in the tent, a little afternoon sleep, come out, the boat's bloody maroon! We've brought some poskas and we've done an artwork, Lola, for the name of the uh, camper van over there. Oh, really? So it's a bit after three o'clock and we're doing what we do best. When we go family camping, we eat, you know, every roughly hour and a half to two hours. I don't know what meal you call this one, but we do have the tinnies out. Mm. Oh. What have you got? Then it tells me it's a kiwi. Um, I don't know if you've ever heard of the board game Boulder Dash, but it's a family favourite. Generally around the 7.30 mark, we like to crack in. Mum's got an oar, I don't know what she's doing. What are we looking at? It's our lot of eggplant and Louie the donut. Ladies! Ian, let's get <laughs> The mothers are trapped, they're stranded out there, so we have to conduct a rescue mission. Nino, Nino. Woo. The ladies are stranded, yes. here they come, <laughs> upstream. <laughs> Bloody dickhead. <laughs> Can't go any slower. Extreme sports here at Tatonga Lagoon today. <laughs> We've safely dropped the ladies to the water's edge. It's Patonga Rescue here this morning, ladies and gentlemen. Professional pack up squad. Knocked it out in about 45 minutes. Like Mash, we're bugging out. Well, Patonga, thank you for having us. It's been emotional. And we'll sign off there. I'll see you guys later.